Fumble-Stage. I broke up with my marriage with my fiance because I believe she's been cheating. He's making all that up. All that is a lie. She get a phone call, but I hear Jimin in the background say, you need to come here. Room 208 wasn't available, so come to room 210. Far as me going to a hotel and I'm supposed to be at work, I never done that. I never done that. Do you have any real proof that she cheated on you? She called me from the hotel, stating that she was at work. Are you cheating on Kevis? I never cheated on Kevis. You took a lie detector test before the show. She took a lie detector test before the show. You had no hotel towel in your bag when I came to pick you up. And you smell like perfume and you smell like soap. And I checked your body in the ashes. How are you going to tell me I wasn't at work? A lie detector test going to tell it all, Let it go. Come on. Right, let's let's get to tell it. it. All, let's get it. The notes for Kevis from your lie detector test. Has he ever cheated on me? No, not that I know of anyway. The subject related the following information. Welcome to the show. My guest is Kevis. And Kevis, you called the show. Why? Uh, my girlfriend, uh, well, I broke up with my marriage with my fiance because I believe she's been cheating. You know, she's been unfaithful to me. And basically, you know, after two years of being together, I feel like I need to know, you know, the whole while we was together, she was cheating on me. And I know I haven't done anything wrong to her, basically. I've been good, and she, we was best friends, you know, we was cool. But now, it's like everything is shady between me. Everything is different. Why all, how long have you been with her? I've been with her two years. Two years? And yep. was this all of a sudden that you, she started acting differently, her behavior? Well, this is how it all started. I met her two years ago, and we became best friends, you know, she was in an abusive relationship. And her family members, they basically did her wrong. You know, everybody was against her except me. You know, when I first met her, I was going through problems too. You know, in previous relationships, I was with a female for five years. She ended up, you know, sleeping around and cheating on me. I broke that off. And so after that, you know, I opened up to my girl and everything and let her know exactly where I stand when it comes to relationships. If you're going to be real with me, be real with me. If you're going to be with me and only me, then be with me and only me. So everything was good. Then all of a sudden, you know, she started getting distant and started coming up with, well, you know, we don't necessarily have to have sex anymore. You know, I can wait. So I started getting suspicious, like, okay. Started noticing that she packed her clothes up, go to work and whatnot. I started seeing high heel shoes in her bag and, you know, she a CNA. I never know no CNA to wear high heels, but she, uh, had a little lingerie in her bag and stuff, and she was supposed to be going to work. And I'm like, okay, well, if you're going to work, then, I mean, where's all these other clothes and stuff coming from? Why do you need to take these extra clothes? Oh, I forgot I put that in my bag. It's the excuses that she was coming up with. At nighttime, you know, she started getting these little phone calls, maybe 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock in the morning. But every time she get these little phone calls, anonymous calls, she, oh, I'm thirsty, I have to go get some water. Have you asked her if she's been sleeping around? Yeah, I confronted her. But she denied everything. All right, one day, I, saw, I say, oh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to make all day for you. On your off day, what I'm going to do, I'm not going to touch my computer. I'm not going to do any music. I'm going to spend the day with you. Just as I do that, she all of a sudden has to go in on her off day. So she get a phone call. I pick the phone up, and it's a, a, a female on the other end. And she, and she asked to speak with my girl. I said, well, who's calling? She gave me some fake name. So then I said, uh, who you want to speak to? She was like, uh, Ashley. So I said, okay. I give her the phone. I said, here you go. It's your job. So she get on the phone. She's like, hello, with a little sad face and looking all distraught like he's standing in front of me. Now, what can I say? So I said, go ahead and talk. It's your job. But I hear a gentleman in the background say, you need to come here. You know, I got this room here. And uh, room 208 wasn't available, so come to room 210. So she started repeating, room 210. And he's like, yeah, room 210. So I'm looking at her like, I know for a fact your job don't go by room numbers. So what's really going on? So she's like, okay, I'm going to go, but I'm only going to be there for a couple hours. I bet your ass is. So I end up walking up to the, I walk up to the bus stop. As we walk up to the bus stop, she started complaining about me walking with her. You don't have to follow me. You don't have to go. I said, I'm not following you at all. I'm walking to the bus stop like usual. What's the difference between the day and the morning? What's up? As we're at the bus stop, 
you know, she, you can go now. And I'm like, how many times you gonna tell me that? But as she talking to me, she's looking across the street like it's somebody that'll pick her up. I said, okay, you know what, get down here. As I leave, I, I said, okay, go ahead, get on the bus, I don't care. As I leave, I go hop in my family member truck. I follow the bus. She's nowhere on the bus. She don't get off the bus, she don't go to work. <laughs> so I'm like, she done pulled the Houdini on me. <laughs> For real. So. I think I, it's Houdini. Well, <laughs> hey, you know what? Do you have any real proof that she cheated on you? She called me from the hotel, stating that she was at work. The notes for Travis from your lie detector test. Has he ever cheated on me? No, not that I know of anyway. The subject related to following information. Do you have any real proof that she cheated on you? Okay. She called me from the hotel, stating that she was at work. So she called me talking about, don't call this number back. Well, who number is this? Oh, this is a, a, friend, a friend of mine's number, which was a female friend, so she say. So I said, okay, cool. I said, I don't call the number back. I don't need to call the number back. Do I ever call any numbers you called me from? No, I'm just saying, don't call this number back. <laughs> you telling me call the number back. In my eyes, that's telling me, hey, call this number. So. <laughs> when I hung the phone up with her, it just so happened that one of her co-workers called, looking for her. I said, well, why you calling here? She at work. <laughs> she, no, she not. I said, yes, she is. No, she not. So I said, okay, this is the number that she called me from. She said, this is not a number at this job. I said, okay. So when you I, called the number back. So yeah, I called the number back. And when I called the number back, this lady jumped on the phone. Oh, thank you for calling <laughs> the end. <laughs> so I said, what the hell? I say, stop playing with me. I say, man, put, put Ashley on the phone. It was like, oh, she's in room 210. <laughs> so they rung up to room 210. You know, simple-minded. She answered the phone, hello? I say, so we in room 210, huh? She like. <laughs> She like. <laughs> so all the while, while I'm on the phone with her, you know, I'm in the parking lot of the hotel because after I got suspicion, don't call this number back. Don't call this number back. Okay. And I called the number back, and they told me exactly. So you went to the hotel. Right. And I How'd sat there in the parking time? lot. No, I sat there in the parking lot. And to tell you the guys on this troop, the reason I didn't go up to the room is because I didn't want to see what it was, you know what I'm saying? Meaning as in I was scared to really see the reality of it. So what I did, I'm riding around close by the hotel. I see her and another gentleman. They walk down the little sidewalk, kiss, hug, and depart. So I said, But why didn't you just bust her out right there? <laughs> oh, you when I went and picked her up, she smelled like Soap and perfume and had uh, hotel towels and hotel soap and hotel lotion in her bag. So I say... So not only is she a cheater, she's a thief. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you. I'm telling you. So how did you know she had the towels and the lotion and the soap? Because she, she got... I picked up. That's what I'm saying. But the, the word they like, was she they holding was, it? They, they, it was, nah, it was no, because she has a little bag that she's carried to work. The same. A little ba bag that she's stuffed with no. towels and soap and it's everything? A, it's a bag about, you know, little, right. little travel bag. Nah. So she stole the towels and stole soap from the towels and the soap and the, and the lotion from the hotel. So I say, what the hell is this? Oh, my job gave me this. I say, yo, job, <laughs> yo, job gave you hotel soap and lotion? <laughs> I said, okay, cool. 
even if what you're telling me and you don't know she's cheating, it sounds like she's very sneaky. Yes. And she's, you know, playing you for a fool. A damn fool. And if that's the case, do you still love her? Yeah, I love her. And you I, want to I be, love her without my and heart. And you want to be with her? I mean, it's like this. If she can prove to me that she wasn't unfaithful, then I'd be a man and I'd be like, baby girl, I'm so sorry. So what do you think she was doing in room 210? That's what I say. If she can prove that she wasn't, but I know for a fact that she did what she did. And since you guys broken up, are you still seeing her? Are you guys seeing each other? Are you talking? We stay together. You stay you stay in the same house? Yeah. I live upstairs, she lives downstairs. <laughs> are you sleeping with her? Not at all. I won't touch her. We don't even talk to each other. Everything is just basically like all the closeness we had and, you know, the opening up, I don't trust her. You took a lie detector test before the show. She took a lie detector test before the show. What if she passes? If she passes, then I man up to my mess-ups. For real. They, and I apologize to her for, for bringing her on and, and accusing her okay. and sending her through all the drama and the stress and the mess. So today I'm, I, I'm guessing that you want her to pass the lie detector test. Yeah, I, I, truthfully, I do. That's I want, what you're hoping Because I'm, I'm hoping that we could get back to where we were. I mean, because we was doing good. Are you cheating on Kevis? I'm not the type that will go and sleep with somebody else. You had no hotel towel in your bag when I came to pick you up. If you smell like perfume and you smell like soap, and I checked your body in the ass. How you going to tell me I wasn't at work? You are the cop. Get off my stage. I'm going to ask you to leave. I'm going to bring her out, and then I'll bring you back out, Kevin. Yeah. All right, let's bring out his ex fiance Ashley. How you doing, Ashley? All right. You doing okay? Yes. How's it? How does the what? How's the <laughs> these days? I don't know. You tell me. Um, you know why you're here, right? Yeah, I, I know why I'm here. Are you cheating on Kevis? I never cheated on Kevis. The problem with Kevis was that the ladies in his past, they done him wrong. You know, I can admit to that. But like I told him when I first met him, I was in a brutal relationship. Yes, I was, but I'm not the type that'll go and sleep with somebody else, or because, you know, them girls did you wrong, I'm gonna do you the same way. I was raised better than that. I'm a big, I'm a better person than that. Tell me about the hotel story. The hotel, I never been to a hotel. No, no, no. Know, the only time I've been to a hotel was when he took me away from my family and my friends because I was getting talked about all the time, you know. So when he says that he he went to the hotel, he saw you kissing some guy. That was all in his mind. He lying. He he on stage just want the attention and want the whole crowd to believe like I'm out here being a whore or something. And they believe in him and clapping him and everything, but they don't even know what's really going on. Well, that's why he goes off the stage now. You get to tell your side of the story. And that's when I'm going. <laughs> And you also took a lie detector test before yes. the show, and you yes. believe that that's going to prove that you have. I don't been... believe I know. You know. I know for a fact that I'm telling the truth. So when he says he heard the, the guy's voice on the phone and telling you come to room 210 and... He's making all that up. All that is the lie. When the, my job called me, I had to make extra money for the house. You know, because I feel as a woman, you should provide for your house and also take care of you and your man and keep your man happy. That's how I feel, and that's what I was doing. As far as me going to a hotel and I'm supposed to be at work, I never done that. I never done that. And he's, what about when he says that you were packing lingerie and high heel shoes in your... I store? ain't never had no lingerie and no high heels in my, in, in my bag. I have a bag that's about this big. I carry it to, per, I mean, I carry it to work. I keep my uh, CNA stuff in there. I keep everything, you know, for my patients. I keep it in my bag. So when he was supposed to saw these towels and all this 
Since soap. you steal the towels and, the, and soap. Why would I steal towels and soap if I got a job and I'm making good money? That don't even make sense. I ain't got to steal. I ain't no thief. I works for mine. Very good. <laughs> what? Did he accuse you of stealing the towels? Yeah, he told me. He say, say, baby girl, uh, why you got these hotel towels? I say, <laughs> I say, that's how dumb you are. Where do you see hotel towels at? I took the whole purse and I dumped it on the bed. And he and he told me some, where that towel at? I saw that towel, where that towel at? I said, what towel? You show me where it's set, you pick it up, and then, yeah, I did it, I was there. But until then, you need to shut up. <laughs> For real, because it made me mad because I'm at work making this money, but you telling me I'm at a hotel sleeping with another man? That don't even make sense to me. Well, I, might, I told him, why isn't he going up on the hotel room door knocking and busting That's because he's out. a lie. A real man would have knocked on the door and got his woman from about that room if that was her. <laughs> Is he crazy? <laughs> <laughs> I think he, he needs some medication, but he won't take none. But I don't know. Now he's not crazy. He just, I don't know something wrong with him from the past. And that's all I can think of is just the past. Were you having sex with him? Who? With Kevin. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, every day. Every, every day? day? Every day. I'm not lying. He every said day. that you told him that, no, we don't have to have sex anymore. Hey, now, I ain't. Steve, I ain't never told him that. Never told him that. Every day? I'm not playing. I'm serious. <laughs> Every day. If I want it, I got it. That's how it was. If I want it, I got it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's, it. That's all of it. That's it. What's he complaining about? <laughs> I don't know, but, um... Jesus. I don't know. Every day. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, you, somebody needs to put something in his head because, Steve, I'm good because I never really day. had... No. <laughs> no. I never really had nobody to do me like him. You know? <laughs> <laughs> you had no hotel towel in your bag when I came to pick you up. If you smell like perfume, if you smell like soap, and I checked your body in the nasty. How you gonna tell me I wasn't at work? I kiss, I kiss your feet. I kiss your feet. <laughs> I kiss your feet. Besides everything else, you were in bad relationships, he was in bad relationships, and then he came and he treated you good, and he got you out of a bad situation, and he treated you nice and everything. He treated me like a queen. And like... how long did he treat you good before the, all the accusations of lying and cheating? After a year and a half. After, do you know if anything triggered that, or? That's what, I mean, I don't know. Only thing I can think about is the past, and what, you know, that might be still in his mind, because if I can't go out with friends and family, and you think I'm having sexual content with somebody else, I can't even go to the store. You checking my purse, you checking my phone, you're going through my pockets, you're smelling my clothes, you're smelling my panty drawers. What does he do when he suspects you're cheating? Like, I go to the club, I, I mean, I go out, my friends and family, I go out, you know, dance, whatever. I come back home, come here. You said you went to the club, let me see. And then, like, you know, I, <laughs> this ain't funny, but I sat on some cake in my car. This is the truth. I mean, in my family's car, I sat in some cake. And he talking about, he told me, he said, what is that on your pants? I said, what? What are you talking about? He talking about that, that that's a white spot right there. And he's like, I had sexual intercourse with somebody else. They was grinding on me while I'm out dancing. And... <laughs> <laughs> you know, <laughs> and they, you and know. And it was cake. Yeah, but it really was cake because, vanilla I cake? mean, my family member. <laughs> was it vanilla cake? No, actually, it was coconut. Coconut. Yes. 
And this, all this accusing you of cheating and, and coconut cakes, is this affecting your relationship? How this affects you? It affects me because I don't have my best friend no more. I don't have nobody to talk to. I don't have nobody to be around, you know, for as hugging, you know, always keeping me uplifted, even when I'm going through drama with friends and family. It's like he not there no more. It's like that part that was in me is like, is. It's, it's just gone. Do you still love him? I love him. I do. I still want to marry him. You do? And I want to have kids with him because um, a doctor said, you know, it might not be possible for me to have kids, but I think maybe, it, it, you know, I can have him with him, and I want to try to just to marry him and be with him and just to be happy every day again. So even after everything he's put you through, you still want to yes, be with him? Yes, I do. And you say this is all craziness on his part. I think it's insecurity. That's what I think it is, insecurity. And you didn't do anything to bring that insecurity on? No, I, I mean... Phone calls 3 in the morning? I ain't never got no phone calls no 3 o'clock in the morning. But when he had his phone, he can get text messages 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning. Every time he get a phone call, he get to go outside and talk on See, the phone. See, that's the exact same story he told about you. But I'm not lying. I don't care what nobody. I mean, I'm really not lying. No, right. But I'm saying you both are telling the same story. He's saying the same thing that, you know, you'd get phone calls, you got to leave the room. I never left the room. So you took lie detector tests and he took lie detector tests. What are you hoping happens today? I'm hoping that he can see that I am telling the truth and prove to everybody out here and on TV that I was telling the truth the whole time. But now, since you both are telling these stories, someone is lying. He's lying. Either you're lying about cheating. I know I'm not lying. Or he's lying about saying all this about you. I just think he wanted to just be on TV just to get some fame, if you ask me, because it ain't no reason why you should treat a good woman like that. All right, we're going to bring Kevis out, and you can talk to him, and then we'll get to the lie detector results, okay? okay. Let's bring him out. So you ain't never cheated? No. Nope. You ain't never cheated? Never. I ain't never, never cheated. Had. And you sent a pill and you came on national TV. So you ain't never and had no, no, you on you national had no TV you ain't never had everybody no that I sent a pill and you ain't had no you. towels. You ain't had no hotel towels in, 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 your, in your bag when I came to pick you up. If you smell like perfume and you smell like soap and I checked your body and asked you, so what you smelling like all good for? How you gonna tell me I wasn't at work? Okay, let me see. You get a phone You call. had my phone and I called you. From Remember? the hotel. I Remember? called you from my work phone. How you gonna call me from a work phone, shawty? When I asked, uh, when I called the number back that you specifically keep telling me, don't call this number back. Okay. Don't call because this number back. Because I wasn't back. sure if you can call the number back at my job while the supervisor was there. What hell I called? That don't even make sense. Do your supervisor you work? Here lying. Do your supervisor, you lying. Do your you supervisor lying. work at a you hotel? Lying. Do your supervisor work at in. My supervisor worked at a nursing home where I was at, making extra well, money to bring you in the house. From, the number you called me from was a hotel. Remember no, it that? was not and, no hotel and, and I, number. And then I'm smelling your drawers? What I'm smelling your drawers for? I don't know. I don't you smell tell your drawers, shout it. You, you, you I tell smell me. your drawers? Yep. What I'm smelling yep. your drawers for, shout it. You smell it. them? I don't you smell them. Now that's a lie. That's you a smell, lie. You smell my clothes? You went to my pants pocket? I can put pocket. that on my dead seat. I can put that you, on my desk. I don't care what you put it I on, but I know what draw, I see. Shouted. You kind of sneak it. I, so I got to go to oh, the yeah. bathroom Hell yeah, and check go it. in the closet check it out. Check and it out. then pick up my clothes and start sniffing them. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the notes for Kevis from your lie detector test. Has he ever cheated on me? No. Not that I know of anyway. The subject related to following information. You are the cop. I'm here today just to prove my innocence. I was kind of tense at first, but then, you know, it's kind of good that I did take it because it's kind of like a stress relief for me. I was so relaxed because if you know you're telling the truth, you shouldn't have no worries at all. Hopefully the test will come back, you know, everything will be all right in the long run. I'm very, very hurt because 
I trusted you. I gave my heart to you. I told the truth on stuff that basically she don't know nothing about. I feel stepped on and crushed. So I'm pretty sure, you know, after the test results come back, we both gonna have to open up and be truthful. Has he ever cheated on me? No, not that I know of anyway. Hopefully she can handle the truth. A lot of tech the test gonna tell it all, Shawty. Let it go, come on. A lot of tech the test gonna tell it all, Shawty. Let's get it. I'm just curious, because I really don't know who's lying. <laughs> who's, who thinks Kevis is telling the truth? No damn body. <laughs> <laughs> like three, three guys. <laughs> and everybody can run who, with her. Who thinks Ashley's telling the truth? Yeah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> it's not, not a whole lot of support for either one. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's twisted. It's twisted like oh, bread. It's twisted like oh, bread. Okay, here's here's Ashley. And to be we both to you. be fair, even after all this, you say you'd love to be with her and work it out. And she said she loves you. I mean, you're quite a bit older than her. And she yeah. says she loves you and she wants to have babies with you. And even after all this crazy. I mean, she cool people if she learn how to control herself. Nah, you need to control yourself and your mouth and your mind and realize I'm what you got. Right That's what you need to do. And you should understand That's what, what you type, need to and do. you need to understand That's what, what type of man you got. That's Since what you, you need to do. You want a bitch about That's what you need you to do. You want a bitch about me. You're the one you want bitch that sound like a girl me. right now. You want a bitch about me doing music. You want a bitch about me doing music and sitting in the house. I'm not no club dude. I don't go to no club. So you're bitching about all that. All that. All of that. All of that. Yep. That's why you yeah. did what you did and do what you, you sure, do. Are you yep. sure you want to get married? Yep, I still love her. I still love her. <laughs> hey. I still love her. <laughs> All right. Until death you, do us part. <laughs> that's probably what it's going to take. Physically. Know. She, um, knowing her, she probably do it to me. <laughs> have you ever been with another man in a sexual manner while dating Kevis? You answered no. Have you ever had intercourse with another man while dating Kevis? He answered no. Have you been with multiple men in a sexual manner while dating Kevis? No. Have you ever had sex with any of Kevis' friends? No. Did you lie to Kevis about romantically meeting a man at a hotel? You answered no. <laughs> the, re the results are that you have told the truth. I kiss your feet. I kiss your feet. I kiss your feet. I apologize. Uh, uh, wait, wait. How do, how do you know she, you're not sniffing them to see if she was cheating? Well, you know, let me. <laughs> you're right, Sneak, because she's slicker than oil, I promise. On but I'm telling the truth, but I'm still slick. You is. You just find out I'm telling the truth, but I'm still slick. You know what? You're going to bump regardless. I sure regardless. am. All the time we get home, I'm going to keep. I know you is. You just found out that she's telling the truth, that well, everything you said, you know, she hasn't been cheating. She hasn't been with any other man in any way. She's told the truth. You, you're not even happy with the result. Oh, I am. I promise on everything I love. I, I, you I, still call I, her I slick. It. Are you sorry? Yes, I'm very much sorry. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm very much sorry for, I'm, I apologize to you for putting you through all this anguish. I'm sorry from the bottom of my heart, I promise. And like I told you, you passed the test, I promise I'm gonna make everything up to you, if I can. And we can start back like we was. But I already know you're gonna send me through hell through this. Oh, jeez, <laughs> that's a good apology. And I'm sorry, and I mean that from the bottom of my heart, baby. For real. Now, if you want to jump back into the relationship, we can. But I still say we take it slow, get over what we're going through, and make it work. Because you are a good person, and I always told you that. And I'm going to love you to the end of time.
and your reaction to him saying this to you? I'm good. And I told you that from the start. And I'm a woman of my word. I'm going to keep my word. The notes for Kevis from your lie detector test. Has he ever cheated on me? No, not that I know of anyway. The subject related the following information. You did? The notes for Kevis from your lie detector test. During the pretest interview, the subject related the following information. The subject admitted to being sexually involved with multiple women during his relationship with Ashley and having sexual intercourse with at least five women during the relationship. You do? Kevis, yeah. come here, man. What, what, what's wrong with you? Truthfully, when I figured like she was messing up, I promised. You, you got this beautiful, young, hardworking woman who is so powerful in her message that she does cheat on you, that she loves you, and you go and you sleep with five women while you're with her? That's not... You thought she was doing something, and, you know, you, you threw this whole... I don't know if she's going to take you back now, but it's like, I what if she I, doesn't? I wouldn't allow her to. As a man, for real, on my Wait, point of view... look what you did to her. Yeah, and I admit I'm wrong. I admit. You just put her through hell witness, about cheating. You made her look his, like a cheater. Yeah. She doesn't cheat. She doesn't lie. You put her through all that turmoil, because and then it turns around. You didn't even have to take the test. You just no, come out, yeah, I can't I, I've, been admit sleeping, it. I've been sleeping with five women. I came out Did you ever it. tell her that before it's not you got five here women. today? It's not five women. Or five yeah, times. Yeah, you know, around that, yes. And that's the truth. That's because I believe that she was messing what up. What the hell do you care about? You're five said. times is worse than her. Now, <laughs> now it is. You knew this before you came here. You knew that you, you, you cheated on her. You didn't have any proof that she cheated on you. What the hell did you come here for? I had all the evidence. That's the guys on the street. The only evidence you had was that you cheated. That's yeah. the only evidence and you I had. Admit to that. And, like a man, and like a man, I admit to that. And like a man, I admit to no that. If you got no evidence, you have no evidence at all, maybe it's your, your, it was your own insecurities that you were cheating, that you started putting all the oh, blame no, on I, her. I'm not insecure. I'm not insecure at all. What the hell would you come here and ask her to take a lie detector test when you know? Because basically I was going to be real with her just as well. And I tell you she the truth. She was real I with you. She I told the she, truth. I thought like hell she you was You had no fail. evidence. None. No and evidence. And I, I admit to that. And I apologize to that. You want to, you, is she coming back out? Okay. I don't know why. I'd be walking. Yeah. But knowing her, she got something to tell me. Yeah. <laughs> you put it through hell because you're guilty conscience. That's what you did. What do you want to say to her? It ain't nothing he can say to me. It ain't nothing you can say to me because I didn't do nothing to you. I've been faithful two years. If I can do it and I'm younger than you, then I know you can do it. And you older than me, got more experience than me. I know you can. For <laughs> real. I can't do this. I can't do it. I'm too good. And you know what? To tell you the truth. <laughs> tell you the truth, you are. <laughs> but you not. <laughs> Truthfully. You at this particular time. 
You not. You not. You not. You know what? I accept everything that you're throwing at me, Shawty. And I will. I messed up. <laughs> Big time, mama. And I hurt you. And I'm not finna get on here like these other cats and <laughs> be sitting there thinking like, oh, well, baby girl, this and that, this and that. Now, I'm gonna be real with you 100%. I f because I figure like you messed up. That's why you accused me you think, because you was doing it. Yeah, I messed with up. With five shawty. females? I, nah, Shouty. It wasn't five. It wasn't five. How much was it? Say one, two. But it wasn't five, Shouty. I still love you, true that. How you, how, how you love me, but you sleeping with two females? I mean, is it, how, it's, it's how? all in the same. How? You can't that play, ain't in the same. You cannot play. You cannot play and feel like I don't love you. First of all, you know that. If for you sure. love me, yeah. you wouldn't have did what yeah. you did. I messed up. Yeah. I messed up. I messed up. True that. I messed up. True that. I messed up. True that. I didn't do you like that. I did not do you like that. I ain't never done you like that. I've been good to you. But you messed over yourself in the end, not me. You know, the sad thing is, you had it all. You've been, you know, whatever happened in your past, I'm sure it hurt. Yeah. It's, it, it hurts to be cheated on. Yeah. But you had this beautiful young lady, who faithful, I, hardworking, who? and who was totally loyal to you. Yeah, and my And you messed ass. it up. And, and even the way you go about it, you know, you, you, you come here and you want answers. Well, you weren't honest with her. You, you know you're going to come and say, yeah, I cheated. I, but I want to see if she cheated, too. <laughs> if you love her and you want to be with her, you don't go out and start sleeping with somebody else. And, it, and then the whole, I mean, that's in the whole thing. You know, she, that's in so the whole not, thing. And I understand to, it. Well, and not, I understand if you, it. If you want to let her go and everything else, wh why are you here? I don't want to let her go. But, well, I mean, I'm, right now she hurt. And I'm yeah. hurt. And I'm hurt like hell too. You're hurt? What, did you, what are you hurt from? Because I lost my best friend. Well, from, you chose from the to jump, do that. From the jump, I lost my best friend. You chose it wasn't to a, do that. How in the hell did I choose to lose my love of life? What did you think she was going to do when you find out you had multiple sex with two different women? I mean, she a grown ass woman. Either she going to stay or leave, but I'm not saying I'm going to force her to be with me and stay oh, with well, me. Of course I you can't force right her. Right now, I know she hurt and I know what she going through. You had a good relationship with her? It was rocket. It was good at first, and then we started going through that other stuff. Yeah, because you put your crap in your head. I put it in my head. That's you know what? You, you screwed up. You messed up the best thing going on in your life. So, you know what? You want to keep dancing around this issue? You keep dancing, Kevis. I, you know what? I tried. But you know what? You just, ever since the show, ever since she hit the stage, you just been going... Blah, 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 blah. All the way down. You don't know how to apologize right, talking about 100% and all that. That's how that's, the hell, I mean, you know how what? you that's figure I don't know how to, to apologize right? You ain't 100% is when you're staying with her 100%. When you're only with her 100%. That's 100%. Okay. Okay. Like I say, I messed up, shout I can't replace what I've done. And I'm not looking at you to be with me, and that's 100% for real. I'm not looking for you to be with me. And I but know yeah, right you now, are. How? You, you, you want her to be with you. Don't tell her you don't want her to be. You want her I'm to be saying, with you. On her own consent. If she of wants to be with her own consent. If she wants to be with me, then I'm not finna force the issue and be out like other these so other, other little cats. Do you want to be with me? Like so quit the answer on and ask her. These do you want to be with me? Men Why don't you ask her? The phone. Stop I'm not. being a little whiny dude and just ask her. <laughs> What? So where we go from here? I don't know. I'm going my own way. And I'm gonna respect yeah. that. <laughs> I am. And I'm pretty sure we need to talk about it. And let me come to you. You know what I'm saying? Talk to you on the situation. So that's why I say I can't be like one of these little fake ass dudes that'll come on the show or either at home. You, you know and what, Travis? You and, are and a fake wine. ass dude. Get off my stage.
That, that, you know what? I hate to say it. Well, I don't hate to say it. I call it like I see it. He's a fake dude. He's fake. And all this putting you through it, and then, you know, coming here to Chicago, and, uh, oh, yeah, by the way, I cheated five times, or with, you know, two different women multiple times. You know, and he's being 100%. That's not being 100%. Somebody loves you through with, with you day to day 100%. Not when they choose to come on TV and, well, let's, let's go fishing and see if you cheated on me. You know, what the hell is that? But this is your life, and maybe you have forgiveness in your heart. I don't know what you have, but you seem like a strong, independent woman. Yeah, you had some tough times. We all do. But you got to make good decisions for yourself moving forward. So it's, we can help you and, and do whatever you need, counseling, whatever else. I don't know. It does to me. It seems like you're a pretty strong woman, so you can like go out that door and and go to your future without some guy weighing you down, or you could go out that door and be with Kevis. Stay